With so much time and energy spent on the benefit of science and math, it can be easy to forget about one's creative side. Purdue University galleries offer a welcoming environment for both students and community members to relax and use the left side of their brain for change. It's a really exciting and opportunity exciting opportunity to see art on campus. The roof galleries specifically, uh, we cycle through exhibitions every week, every two weeks, three weeks is a really long show for us. So that's pretty unique um, as far as a gallery experience goes. So it's a really neat way to to check in and see something new all of the time. The Roof Gallery in Powell Hall displays both faculty and student artwork on an ever-changing basis. It is currently showcasing work by artist Catherine E. Bash in conjunction with the Spaces of Art Conference that Professor Catherine Dawson has organized. Part of the conference we wanted to have an artist to show us what today artists are doing because we study a lot of artists to use map and do map ourselves. So I asked Catherine E. Bash, who is an artist based in London, who work with cartography, uh, not making map, typical map, but map that, uh, how would I call them? Poetic map. Bash, a PhD graduate of University College of London, incorporated her many fields of study, including art, languages, and poetry, to create this exhibit that is based upon her dissertation. Um, this exhibition we bring together, or I bring together, a, s a series of, of works that deal, with that deal with cartography in general. And in the sense that I like to mark space and time and give incontrovertible evidence of having been in place. So each of these works relate to specific sites and each of the works um, deal with specific heuristics or tools for discovery. And from that, these heur heuristics, the different pieces are made and created into cartographs. The Located just across State Street in Stewart Center is the Ringo Gallery, which is an easy destination for students or faculty to stop by between classes. So in Ringel Gallery and Stewart Center, we currently have an exhibition that was done in collaboration with the theater department. So we see um, all sorts of different things in a new context, in a new way, uh, really have an opportunity to enhance what's happening in the classroom. So we hope that Purdue students and faculty and staff know what's going on and come through and take a look. Currently, the Ringel Gallery is offering a second life to props and costumes from four past productions that were put on here at Purdue. This exhibit serves as an opportunity to see the aspects of theater production up close and personal. Seeing these pieces may just change the way you look at what Purdue has to offer. Well, I feel that art is really undervalued, especially a school so focused on like math and engineering and the sciences, and it's always good to have more art for the culture. So stop by one of the Purdue Art Galleries today. They are free and open to the public seven days a week. And we get to hear, you know, world-class artists um, talking about what they're doing, how they're contributing to the field. For Fast Track, I'm Lauren Hauserman.